Hello, my name is Olivia Parks and I'm the AmeriCorps Naturalist here at Dorothy Pico Nature Center. Thank you for joining me for Science Outdoors. This week we are doing homemade bottle rockets. To start with, we will be using recycled film canisters with pop-on lids like this. Inside of one of these film canisters, we are going to create a chemical reaction using water and Alka-Seltzer. This chemical reaction will cause the citric acid to react with the sodium bicarbonate that produces carbon dioxide gas. When the canister is closed, the gas will build up pressure and will look for the weakest spot to escape. When this reaction happens in a film canister, the pressure will build up so much that it will pop the lid off with great force. Check out these examples. Canister, and it has its lid. Obviously this one's not decorated, which we have our dark decorated ones, but I have Alka-Seltzer tablets. I have the off-brand, which works the same way as the regular ones. I'm going to take the lid off of the film canister and fill it about three-fourths the way with water, or about halfway. Then you're going to break one of the Alka-Seltzer tabs in half. Stick it in the water, put the lid on really quickly, set it there, step back, and wait. <laughs> And that you have your Alka-Seltzer rockets. Some questions that we came up when doing this was how could we change it up? Could you change the design of the rocket to make it go higher, faster, or straighter? Could we use less fuel to make it go further? Or less fuel to make the reaction happen faster? Or does hot or cold water matter? I challenge you guys to try some of these ideas out and let us know your the outcome of your experiment. Along with our Alka-Seltzer rockets, I wanted to share with you another rocket that we built here at the Dorothy Pico Nature Center. These rockets are made from recycled pop bottles and we built a launch pad that you're able to attach the pop bottle to with special fixtures. Inside the pop bottle, you would put a little bit of water and then you would use a tire pump at the other end of our launch pad to fill it up with air, building about 30 PSI of pressure and then you'd pull the trigger and watch your bottle launch.
hope you guys had a blast making rockets with me today and I hope you guys get a chance to at home too. Check out our downloadable content that we have on our Facebook page to have the recipe for yourself.